180 snowboarding in the N64, much like Nintendo's previous Extreme Sports masterpiece, Wave Race 64, was no stranger to fun extras and cheats. Welcome to a Dome Candy Games Supplemental. Here you can check out the tips and tricks I'm going to do, and skip ahead if you feel like it. If you haven't seen the review yet, well... Too bad. Without further ado, let's activate the Iceman. Once you beat the expert mode of Match Race, you can access the Iceman by zooming into Akari Hayami, pressing left C and tapping A. You'll know it worked when you see him in the thumbnail on the board selection screen. The Ice Dude is not only cool looking, <coughs> but he takes less damage than the feeble human characters, has really good speed, and tends to land easier. Most of the time. The only guy that beats him is the Gold Iceman. To get this border, you have to beat the match race mode on Expert using the Iceman. Then head into the character select and go to Kensuke Kimachi. Hit C up and press A. Again, the thumbnail will change to the gold guy. Now, Mr. Gold Ice is the fastest guy in the game, takes the least amount of damage, and can land pretty much anything. I know gold is supposed to be a really soft metal, but I don't see it flapping in the wind like this. Now, as awesome as these characters are, they still just do the same stuff as the normal people do, but there is a secret character that can do some new stuff. To get him is pretty tricky, but if you've played the game as much as I have, you may have earned him and not even known it. You have to rank first, second, and third on every time attack, trick attack, and contest mode. Once you do, you can activate the Panda Man by going to Rob Haywood, hitting right C, and pressing A. There's gotta be a bit of weirdness in every EAD sports title, right? The panda can do front and back flips, of course. And he can even lift a foot out of his binding, Kung Fu Panda style. There's even a panda tweak move that's pretty tough to pull off. The flips are pretty cool though, since sticking and landing during the stunt is pretty generous. But listen, I hear you. The riders aren't the problem, it's the boards. Like I mentioned in my review, there's hardly any difference between them. They're just so uninspired and boring. There's just nothing that makes any of them stand out. You know what it is? It's a lack of animal abuse, that's what it is. It's a lack of animal abuse. Introducing the penguin board. Complete all of the tricks in training mode. Yes, all of them. And when you get to the board selection screen, go to the Tahoe 151 board, hit C down and then A. Supposedly, in terms of speed and stun ability, this is the best snowboard in the game, but I don't know. You decide. Now, doing all the stunts is really tough. I've done it, but that was before I knew about this one weird little trick. Apparently, you can select an easy stunt, like lean air, perform it, and then before you hit the ground, select a different stunt that you haven't completed yet. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There's one little easter egg that can be found after completing a half-pipe trick attack. Go to watch the replay, and then rotate the analog stick around during the replay to add scratches to the music. It's a small thing, but it's kind of interesting. Speaking of replays, you can change the camera angle from the standard replay camera to a chase camera like the one you actually play with. And while in this view, you can change the lens to be either more telephoto or more fisheye. It's a pretty cool effect, especially for a game this old, but I do wish you could rotate around the character to get some better angles. Instead, you're just kind of stuck in the back looking at other things. Like helicopters, I guess. And thank you for watching Dome Candy Games Supplemental. Uh, don't forget to check out the review video that accompanies this one. And uh, don't forget to check out the Dome Candy Games Facebook page as well, as I post uh, video game news up there sometimes, as well as links to videos like this as they go up. And thank you again for watching Dome Candy Games, because video games are like candy for your dome. Finish.